How you doing? I'm Andy. And right now, I'm being kidnapped by this total jerk. You're my weenie, lot of teeth, you little rat. Good little girl. It's gonna keep me from my music. Okay, hold this thought. We'll get back to my kidnapping later. And I know what you're thinking. How can you understand me? Well, stuff like that happens sometimes. Call it magic, call it whimsy. I call it normal, because we animals talk all the time. You people simply just don't want to listen. But let's back up a few days ago. Meet little Lily Mason. She's my best friend. A few days ago, she made a wish that changed everything. Nice day to play outside, right, Andy? Hi, bird. Hi, Mr. Tree. Okay, okay. Why don't we back it up a little bit before this entire wish thing happened? First, I'd like you to meet Lily's family. How's your coffee, hun? That's Melly. She's Lily's super cool mom. Uh, oh, it's, uh... Mm. Great, thanks, dear. Oh, this guy here is Bob. He's Lily's dad. He works a lot. And he does whatever it is that those big humans do when, when they're not home eating. Hey, princess. That's Tina, Lily's funny older sister. She likes boys and pop music. Hey, Daddy. Oh, she's also a great belly rubber. Okay, just a little belly rub. Maybe a little bit under the chin would be nice, too. I'm just going to kick my foot. Sit, Tina. Breakfast. I'm fasting, Mom. You can fast later. I made eggs and you're eating. I have these five pounds for early tryouts. I don't. You're perfect the way you are. Can I say that because it's true? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, would you call off your critter, please? He always hisses at me when I'm cooking. Whiskers, cut it out. That's Whiskers, Bob's pet from the old days. Whiskers has serious issues, mainly with me, but we'll talk more about that later. Lily, honey, breakfast. Coming, Mom. Bye, bird. Bye, Mr. Tree. Boy, I sure wish you could all talk. And that's where the magic begins, with a wish. As you probably guessed, I'm the family hedgehog. Name's Andy. No last name, just Andy. Hey, kid. Hi, where, where did you come from? The bushes, step in. Wait, where are we? In Fairyland, and be careful what you wish for. What? Be careful what you wish for, it's a famous saying, like, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. That's a Santa song. Oh, right. Anyways. Who are you? That's a good question. I'm someone who can grant a wish for you. You can? Yep, that's what I do. Wow, I'm Lily. I know. You do? Yep. I'm your fairy BFF. I know all about you, and Andy too. Wow, I have a fairy BFF? So, your wish, Lily. Well, it's a big one. I hope so. This is my first big job. I gotta do it good for the boss. So tell me, girl. I wish all my friends could talk. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. You're a little girl, so I guess all your friends can talk. No, I mean my other friends. Like the birds, and flowers, and Andy. Hmm. Talking flowers, birds, and animals. I think I can do that. Really? Yeah. All things growing, chirping, or squeaking. Get ready to do some serious simple speaking. And that was it. With those magical words, I was able to speak. Of course, so was Whiskers. Ugh. But more on that later. Okay, done deal, Lily. Really? Andy, it really worked. I guess it does, Lily. Andy? That's my name, kiddo. Don't wear it out. We can finally talk to each other. But your lips aren't moving. Well, why should they? A lot of people's lips move, but they don't really say much. Smart little fella. Oh, thanks, funny-looking little fairy chick. I get that a lot. 
Thank you, Fairy BFF. Mwah. And can all my friends hear Indy too? If you want them to. Do I rock or what? Lily, sweetheart, come on in now. Coming, Mom. Come on, Andy. Hey, I just work here, kid. You're driving. I still can't believe you could talk. Miracles happen every day, Lily. Oh, no. What is it? This means that Whiskers will be able to talk. Oh, good grief. Come on, he's not so bad. He's just kind of old, that's all. He doesn't like me. Don't be silly. No, trust me. He has hedgehog envy. What? Never mind. Oh, hi, boss. Missy, do you realize what you've just done? I, I did my job. I granted a wish. You violated a 31A directive that forbids us from allowing flowers, animals, or birds to talk to people. Didn't you get that in your training? Um, no. Maybe I got sick that day. Missy, what am I going to do with you? Oh, please don't turn me to a toad again last time. Ribbit, you have no idea how that stings. You should have called in for a fairy lifeline. Instead, you just cast your spell all willy-nilly. Well, I am a fairy BFF, and it's kind of a job description. You have no idea of the problems you've caused. Oh, don't be so negative, boss. The kid is happy, and the world is unicorns and rainbows. You are so young. <laughs> I had no idea how many problems this would cause either. But the big fairy was right, because that's when the bad guys showed up. What's the matter, you? Uh, I'm sorry, you, you, you scared me. I don't know why I bring you out under these jobs. Because we're best buddies. Wrong. Oh, because I'm a good gardener. Wrong again. I don't know. Why? I don't know. And it worries me. I mean, just have a look at this guy. You can tell that he's up to no good. The fat one's not so bad, though. I like him. He's funny. Look, this I'm gonna be eating up tonight and everything. Sorry, no. Oh, hey, I forgot. Hey, Tommy, get a load of this. It's a contest. A contest for what? To find the weirdest thing you can into your home and put it on the internet. Wow, he's all right. And you are gonna help me win. I am? See, how? Just by being you. Just by being... I don't get it. You know, you tell it. Oh, gee, Roller. <laughs> I don't want the world to see that. This is embarrassing. Come on, you do it all the time down at the bar. Yeah, but that's for the guys. Look, the winner of this contest wins $10,000. That's a, like $3,000 each. What do I say? That's in the spirit. Yeah. OK, let's practice. Are you ready? Ready? OK. <laughs> Hey, you guys, Andy can talk now. Sure, you can, Brad. No, really. Go ahead, Andy. Say something. Go on, Andy. Say something. Breakfast is on the table, honey. Come on, don't be like that. He's just being shy. Of course he is, dear. That's what hedgehogs do, I guess. <clears throat> okay, uh, I gotta go. Honey, where's, where's my briefcase? In the living room, hon. I'll get it. <laughs> hey. Oh. 
That's Trixie. She's Tina's cheermate and best friend. She's really nice, but I'll be honest with you, she's not that smart. Hey, Trixie, come on in. Trixie, did you eat yet? No, I'm fasting. Oh, right. League finals. See, Mom? Whiskers, stop it. Lily? Now, what's wrong with her today? The same thing that's always been wrong with her. She lives in her own la-la land. Happy. Oh, don't worry, honey. You do, too. Really? <laughs> Is it because I'm dumb? <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yeah, boss. Let's go. Come on, roller. Okay, we got to get up here and clean up the gutter. Okay? Easy. Easy. These two bozos. I could set up a ladder and I'm only three inches long. Okay, what's going on? I can't talk in front of anyone else, Lily. Why not? That was my wish. I know, but... But what? Because, little Lily, the hedgehog knows that if folks get wind of a talking animal, only trouble is going to come from it. That's silly. No one will care. <laughs> no one will care, she says. <laughs> I'm an old animal child. Believe me, if any of these humans saw me or that walking little porcupine talking, there'd be some serious trouble. That, I don't believe it, and I'll prove it to you. Hey, Tina! Trixie! Maybe we should fold this first, get it up here, and then open it up and put it up. I was thinking the same thing, sure. Okay, let's go back here. That's why you're the brains of this operation. See? Okay. Now, bring your dish to ND. I want you to see something. Lily, I see Andy and Whisker every day, okay? Not like this. Come on in. Why? So you can hear Andy and Whiskers talk. Space Cadet. <sighs> like, really talk? Like, can they actually talk? Trixie. I want to see. Can you actually talk, little rat? I'm a hedgehog, sweetheart. Not a rat. Oh my god. That is so bomb. I can't believe he can really talk. Uh. Told you. Okay. I need a you to hold the ladder while I go up there and clean the gutter. I think I can reach it. Now, don't let go. I don't have good health insurance. Okay? All right, Puva. Stay attentive. Pay attention. Do it again, Andy. Louie, I'm in a pretty strong bargaining 
talk. position here. If I talk, will you do me a favor? Sure, we're pals, right? Right. So what do you want, Andy? I'd like to go wander around for a bit. See the sights. I don't know. Maybe even take in the backyard. I understand. Okay, deal. Want to rub my belly, Tina? Oh my god! Madonna mia! Andy, are you, have you, have you been possessed by like an alien or something? No, I'm still the same lovable Andy that you belly rubbed for world peace. Now do you believe me? I believe you, baby girl. I just don't get it. I mean, this is bigger than we, you know, landed on the moon. I don't remember landing on the moon. <laughs> now you've done it. You'll see where this leads to, you little rat. You guys are going to be famous. Really? Is that good? No, it isn't. Sure, why not? Wow, this is so big. I gotta text Tori. Why? She is super smart and our team captain. She'll know what to do. We are going to be rich, Bova. Ow! I just have to figure out a way to get inside and get my hands on that little rat. What rat? Mr. Roller, Bubba, are you okay? Oh, 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 oh yes, man. We are uh, fine. <laughs> Just a little fall. We'll finish up uh, here, and then we'll be inside so we can do our termite inspection inside. Termite inspection? See, it's our weekly special. I wanted to surprise you. Well, okay, I don't think we have any termites, but you guys are experts, right? See, si, we are experts. Okay. Nellie really wasn't so sure about them, but she did let them into the house, and that's where the real trouble started. But first we're going to meet Tori, the cheerleader captain. Okay, I'm here, and I better see a talking pet. Better be good. Bye, honey. Oh. Hi, Mr. Mason. Hi, uh, Trixie. Oh. No, I'm sorry, Trixie can make them cheer me. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, have a, have a great day at school then, Terry. Oh, okay, thanks. Um, bye, don't work too hard, Mr. Mason. Bye. Okay, so. You'll sit down the stairs with the, the wife and the distract her. I'll go up the stairs and get her that little rat. Right there, guys? Oh! Hi, hi, hi sir. Hi, Good yeah. morning. Good Are morning. you off to work? Uh, no, vacation. Hawaii. Yeah, I I'm off to work. <laughs> <laughs> and to get there, I gotta go in that car door right there. Oh! Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Boob, you're in the man's way. I'm Boob. sorry. sorry. You, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but the Boob is not that smart. Okay? Hey. All right. Okay. Let's okay. yeah. go here. I'll go in. Okay. Yeah. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao. Bye bye, Yachi. Hi, Tori. The girls are upstairs. You guys better hurry so you're not late for first hour. Don't worry about it, Mrs. Mason. I'll hurt the girls out super fast. Now I know why you're captain of the team. It's all about being in control and never losing your cool. 
I'm thinking of writing a book. It would really benefit women like you. <sighs> Go upstairs, Tori. Okay, what is this crap about talking pets? Hey, watch the language there, sugar lips. Oh gosh, the hedgehog killed her. Don't get on social media though. Selfie! She's not dead, Trixie. Lily, I kept my bargain with you. Could I go wander around on my own now? Do you even have the slightest idea what a dangerous world it is out there? Sure I do. Wait, what do you mean? What I mean, Hedgehog, is there are things outside that want to eat you. What? Is that true? You kept your word to me, Andy. Okay, little cheerleader, you're kind of laying in the middle of my floor here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to climb up and over you. Don't wake up, please, because that would really scare me. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. <laughs> Why does Daddy keep that mean old Mr. Whiskers? I like him even less now that he talks. He's just old, that's all. He's grumpy. I'm free, I'm free. I'm actually walking around all on my own. I don't have anybody carrying me. I don't have anybody watching me. I don't have any responsibilities. I don't have any plans. I've got my entire life in front of me. I've got stairs. I didn't think about stairs. Okay. I'm just going to peek my head over the edge here. I'm just going to peek my head up. Wait, wait, wait. Ah. Ah. Okay. That was one stair. How many more stairs did this house have? What's your scam, boys? Fantastico! The, the, the animal talked! See? And I asked you a question. What do you guys want? Because you look shifty. And I like that about you. We need ourselves a talking animal. Well, there's plenty of those around here. See? I noticed that. Grab him! You touch me, and I'll never talk again! The whole world will laugh at you and call you a couple of dummies. Now, what if I told you two boneheads that I could get you a cute little hedgehog that never shuts up? I'd say that sounds like a pretty good deal. We'll make it worth your while. Huh. Of that, I'm sure. Well, it sure is nice out here today. Cool breeze, autumn. I've always cared for autumn. Oh, well, hi there, Mr. Bird. How are you? Looking good, little hedgehog. And plants, you can talk too. We sure can, Andy. There's a lot of good stuff to sniff out here. I've never really noticed it before. A lot of good places to pee, too. You know, Whiskers doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just old and wait a second is that milk did lily put out milk for me it is i love milk 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 this is a nice little flower lily likes flowers i think i'd like to bring this flower home for her oh, wait a second actually it's kind of making my face itch you know oh oh okay ah oh that's nice that's better what should i do next hey you know, I wonder if my friend Mike wants to come over for some milk. I love milk. I bet Mike would like milk, too. Andy, my knees are acting up. My tendonitis is acting up. These veterinarians, man, they don't know what they're talking about. Mike, for crying out loud, just drink milk. Ugh, I had to send Mike home. That guy was a major downer. I'm gonna tell you, I think I liked him a lot better before he could talk. Oh, look at this, too. Bob was out here grilling a week ago. He dropped a piece of sausage. It's delicious. 
<laughs> I'll bet if Mike were here, he'd be complaining that it's just turkey sausage. Mm, I love it. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Ooh, what's that guy over there? Uh oh, wait a minute. Is that a dog? Stay very still, he doesn't see me. He does, he sees me. Run, scramble, run. I can't, my legs are too small. He's coming very, very fast. He's a very fast dog. Ball up, get in the ball, get in the ball. Is he gone? Is the dog gone? Will somebody talk to me? I've been rolled up like this for an hour now. Well, I'm exhausted. Being outside is really tiring. <sighs> Maybe I'll just have a little nap on this rock here. Okay, you two bozos. I want 20% of the take and points on the back end. Net, of course. Do I look like a jerk to you? Heck no. Gross. That's a robbery. Well, what do you say, Shorty? You want to talk in hedgehog or not? Mm. He's got a point. Deal. Uh, back already, Andy? Yeah. Did you have fun? Fun really isn't the word that I'd be looking for. Girls, this is amazing. A talking hedgehog. I know. It's so fetch. <laughs> Trixie, fetch is so mean, girls. Find another catchphrase. Okay. <laughs> you look out of breath, Andy. I had a dog issue. We have to get that rat today. Yeah, but he's a for cute, ain't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cute. But he ain't dumb. This operation needs to be handled delicately. Do you have a plan? Okay, girls. We've got to exploit him. Exploit him? You mean like blow him up? No, honey. I mean, we have to show the world what Andy can do. How? <laughs> And why? So that we can become famous and meet the Kardashians. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Don't worry. Andy won't get hurt. In fact, he may even get a girlfriend. A girlfriend? Yeah. You like that? Um, can I eat it? No. A girlfriend is like... like a mate. What can I do with a mate? Uh, you'll figure it out. Don't worry, Andy. I just go for the food. Listen, all I'm saying is that we show Andy off at the science fair. But I was supposed to be the science project. You promised! Honey, we were going to show them why you're the perfect candidate for a brain transplant. Yeah, and you're sure that's better than Andy talking. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Wait, how come I'm the perfect candidate for a brain transmission thing? I think we should get Andy's opinion on this. I don't know. I mean, I guess if it doesn't hurt and you guys are down with it, then okay. That a piggy. Yay. <laughs> Double yay. Okay, everyone, out of here, fast. What's going on? Emergency termite inspection. This room is full of a box. Termite? No. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You can leave him here. He'll be safe. Okay, gotta go to school anyway. Bye, Andy. See you later. Ciao. Hello, hedgehog. But there aren't any termites in this place, Whiskers. I don't know about that, Andy. I smell a rat, and it's you. Uh, now, would I do anything? Dishonest. Does a dog love peanut butter? You're a smart little rodent. And that's why you're gonna make us rich. Gee, Rowan, he doesn't look too happy. He's a rat, a booba. Happy schmappy. Give him a cracker, he'll be happy. Now, come here. And the next thing you know, I was being stolen by bad guys. 
What's going on with those girls? Termites. Oh my gosh, we have them after all, don't we? I guess that's what Mr. Roller says. Well, get your things, honey. I'll have to drive you to school now. Okay. Okay, the coast is clear. Now what? Now we need to find a video camera so we can record it. Hey, morons! See? We've got smartphones now. 21st century stuff. You can film the hedgehog on the phone. That's a good idea. Wait a minute. Wow. What's he doing back here? He's always forgetting something. Okay, okay, quickly get the hedgehog back upstairs. Get up, fat boy. Move, move, move. Of course I don't like the deal. Tom is a great quarterback. He's worth more than 5.6. He's first ballot Hall of Fame, no doubt. Right. Well, let's get it up front. Sure. Well, the first time to yes. And that money needs to be guaranteed, you know? Hey, Mr. Hey, Bob. You forget something? I asked you if you forgot anything. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, I'm going to have to call you back. <laughs> Excuse me, are you actually talking? Yeah, I am talking. <laughs> okay, yep. I'm having a nervous breakdown. You're not. It's just one of those crazy days. Melly's right. I've been working too much. I am seeing and hearing things. Why well, you sit down? Have a drink. You can pour me one too. <laughs> no, no. I think I'm just gonna go lie down somewhere and get back here, you little rat. What was that? Uh, termites. That sounded like a lot more than termites. Careful there, Whiskers. You got it, Bob. And he's still talking. Alright, I need to sleep. The dog on the rat that got away. Anybody out there? Hi, dog. Andy, what are you doing out of your cage? I've been dealing with a few problems, Bob. No worries. And you're talking, too. Hmm. Yep. I am losing my mind. You okay, Bob? You've got a funny look on your face. <laughs> I'm fine, Andy. I am just going insane. How about we go have a little lie down? What do you say? Okay. Okay. Sorry I'm talking, Bob. I had nothing to do with it. No. Sure you didn't, Andy. You believe me? Of course I believe you. Because I'm losing my mind and you are part of my mental disintegration. By all means, please, keep talking. I'm almost getting used to it. Oh, okay then. Mm -hmm. Do you talk too, creepy little doll? See what you've done? Bob thinks he's going crazy. And that's my fault? Well, who else? Little Lily wants her animals to talk to people. And now everything's going crazy. Who's going to fix it? That's your problem. But you better think of something quick. Or... Or what? Get used to life on the Lily Bay. No. <laughs> I need coffee. And now I'm hearing voices. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I love the look on the fat one's face when Bob sits on him. Whiskers, can we play it again? No! Oh, come on, please. Oh, fine. Yep. Hearing voices everywhere, Andy. I think I need a lie down. 
What do you say, buddy? Ah! Let's have a little snuggle in my room. All right. Idiots! I can't work under these conditions. Lily, in here. Lily, listen, we got a problem. The bathroom transports me to Fairyland? It's the bathroom. All girls gossip in the bathroom. It's a well-known fact. Okay, what's wrong? Everything. Look. Lily always told me this was going to happen one day. That day is today, Andy. Major mental meltdown. You know, Andy, when I was young, I used to be a heck of a football player. I was all conference, all state. I thought I was invincible. You know, I thought I could do anything. Never thought about growing old. Never thought about days like today. <laughs> How could I? You know, you and me talking. Yeah, I used to think I could do anything. You know, make the big play, the, the touchdown, the, the game-saving tackle. And I don't feel like I can really do anything. Nothing. You can still do anything, Bob. You can still make that tackle, if you believe you can. <laughs> How'd you get so smart, Andy? You're a hedgehog. I don't know. I guess it came with the magic wish. Hmm. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah, I yeah, like when you cuddle like that. I like you too, Bob. Hmm. So you gotta fix this, Lily. I'm sorry. But I love my wish. And it's not that big of a deal. That's where you're wrong. A lot's going down because of me. But no, I'm not going to change my wish. You don't have to change your wish. You just have to wish another wish so it reverses the original wish. But what if I don't want another wish? Andy and I can finally talk now. He's the only one that understands me. I know what it feels like to be misunderstood. You do? Big time. Will you at least think about making another wish, please? But what if I don't want another wish? Then your fairy BFF is going to be turned into a toad forever and ever. I don't get it. Just think about it, okay? Okay, I'll think about it. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Excuse me, Ms. Habana. Oh, good morning, Mr. Coogan. I, I, I didn't see you come in my classroom. Can I help you with something? You look... You, you look very nice today, Ms. Habana. Thank you. I got a new dress. Do you like it? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mr. Coogan and Mrs. Habanero. Sweetheart, it's Habanet, and yeah, they're crazy about each other, but they don't do anything about it. Mr. Coogan is helpless. <laughs> uh, oh, that's the bell. <laughs> yes. Do you think you should get to your classroom? Yes. Yes, of course. Well, um... Good morning, class. Uh, I, I just wanted to remind you before we get started that the science fair competition is going to be in two days in the cafeteria. I'm looking forward to a very exciting presentation. Where did Andy go? He's going to get himself into trouble. Hey guys. There you are, Andy. Andy, what have you been up to all day? Oh, Lily. It's been a little bit crazy. What kind of crazy? Dogs, whiskers, bad guys. And your dad thinks that he's going crazy himself. I know. I saw. You saw? How could you see from school? How can you talk? Fair question.
Dad. Why aren't you at work? Work. Cartoons. Potato chips. What? Daddy, are you okay? I'm fine. I caught up on the duck and the pig and the two guys that go boom for each other. Hey, Amy. Hey, Bob. You getting any sleep? Oh, uh, a little bit. Still talking, I see. Yeah, it's sort of what I do now. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about it? Try to scare the wife. I'll be real careful about that. Thanks, Bob. Okay. <laughs> Lily, sweetheart, I think Daddy's having a nervous meltdown. I think he's been watching too much silly TV. No. Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> Bob, what are you doing here? I live here. No, I meant why aren't you at the office? You've got that big bio today with that young quarterback. I love potato chips. Love them. Cartoons, too. They're <laughs> Hmm. Are you still talking? Huh? Are you still talking, you furry little thing? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I am. I'm going crazy. I knew it. All those hours you've been putting in, skipping breakfast, has put you into this state. I'm fine. Honey, want a chip? Bob, you're barking. Stop it. <laughs> Bob, talk to me. No, Bob, talk to me, dear. Don't bark. Stop it. Roll over. Here, run my hair. Right here, behind me. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Do it. <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> oh, Bell, Belly. It's no big deal. How would you know, Whiskers? He's talking, no, barking, like... Excuse me, did you just talk... I'm afraid so, sweetheart. It's what I've been doing lately. There you go. My own wife's crazy, too. She hears the animals talking. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to faint. Please don't do that, Melissa. The children. <gasps> right, the children. Oh, my gosh. They can't find out about your talking whiskers. And how is it you can talk? Anyway, it's a bit of a long story. Indulge me. Do you want the unvarnished truth or the sugar-coated version? Please just tell me how you can talk, my little friend. I'm a victim of dark magic by a fairy. Little Lily wished rather recklessly for us to be able to talk. And she said it was okay if folks like you heard too. Folks like us? Grown-ups. Oh. Dark magic. That sounds horrible. Is it too late to get it sugar-coated? You just heard the sugar-coated version. Oh, my. What are we going to do? The children. The children are fine, Mommy. All about our talking pets. I know it's weird. Weird? No. Professional wrestling is weird. Talking animals is just nuts. I couldn't agree anymore, Mrs. Mason. What? You too? Afraid so. I, I think I need to lie down. Mm, won't work. I'll try that. Is it too early to drink? Now you're talking. No. No one is starting to drink. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. No, oh, sure. That's absolutely fine. Animals talking. No big deal at all. Hey, don't, don't forget, forget about, about us. Plants, too. The talking plants really put Bob over the edge. He went right back to cartoons and potato chips. Meanwhile, our two bumbling bad guys were listening the whole time and forming a plan. We have to get that little rat tomorrow. We get the mess out. Yeah, but now that the mom and dad knows about him, it's gonna be hard for us to get our hands on him. We'll think of something. 
No, you mean that, that whiskers will think of something. That's what I meant. Your garage door open and sweat inside, Mrs. Daisy. Get off me, I'm sorry. Now our story goes to later that night. Time for bed, honey. Okay, Mom. Wanna go back in your cage, Andy? Well, if it's okay, I'll just stay right here in this nice warm bed. <laughs> Bob, go to bed. He's not adjusting to this very well. Don't sweat it, Mrs. Mason. It's kind of magical, you know? And Bob, well, he's more of a logical fella. That he is. Sleep tight, baby. Night, Mom. Good night, Melissa. Oh, by the way, where's Whiskers? Oh, yeah, Whiskers. I saw him slumming it around Tina's room. They're in there watching some dance video. Oh, that old lecherous critter. Why, I should tell your father. Mom, he's just lonely. Whiskers isn't really bad. You want to bet? Hush, Annie. That's not nice. We'll talk about this tomorrow. I love you, Andy. I love you too, Louie. Sleep well. I'm just going to take a little stroll, stretch my legs a bit, maybe use the bathroom. But I'll come right back here to sleep, I promise. You hit calling Corn? Yeah. Was she upset? Not like ma'am, but just like... Oh no. This upset. is a brand new car and my husband is going to be so upset. And oh, she like, told you? Oh, no. Yeah, I was like, oh god. Oh no. I feel kind of bad, guys. Why? Because you hit her car? Yeah. Yeah, but not that right now, anyway. Because Mr. Coogan and Mrs. Haven... Have an arrow? Close enough. Anyway, they're like, in love, you know? I don't know. Yeah, but they're too chicken to do anything about it. Yeah. Our chicken teachers will hardly even talk to each other, and I've personally tried my best. Yeah, uh, well, it wasn't enough. You humans! You know nothing about love! And you do? Yeah, how could you, Mr. Um, furry thing? <laughs> I know what it's like to love. A long time ago, I had someone. Oh, you think it's not possible. I was young, powerful, slick, tomcatting around. <laughs> I ruled that city. And then one day, I saw her. She was beautiful, a vision, sort of like you, but a lot smarter. We did everything together. You put a bowl of food in front of us. It didn't matter to me what was in it. Milk, soup, even water. We lapped it up together. We cuddled together every day, playing. We bought matching leopard skin jackets. One day, she didn't come home. I got up in the highest tree I could find. I looked everywhere. She'd been truckered. Flattened, smushed, kaput. Sooner or later, the truck comes for all of us. From there on in, I sat here, alone, in a prison of my own thoughts. Oh, sure, I got Bob and Melly and you and Lily and the little dumb girl here, but it's not the same. One day I'll get trucker too. Gee, Whiskers, you could depress a hyena. your business. Huh, okay. Well, I guess I'm just going to go to bed then. Just wanted to say goodnight, guys. Seems like a good party. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Whiskers. Wait, what are you doing? 
You scared me. I scared you. This is our bathroom. Wait a second. Wait, where am I? We're in Fairyland. The bathroom, but Fairyland sounds better. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You're... The one that got you to talk and same with the whole other animal kingdom. And, and us, too. And the flowers. Listen, I need your help, little guy. My help? Uh, I don't, how could I help you? You could convince Lily that you and the animals and, and the flowers and the flowers can all go back to being just you. But I like being able to talk. I like that people listen to me. It's, it's nice to be able to communicate. I know, it's just that it's just going to get us in more trouble, and you don't want that, do you, little hedgehog? No. Sometimes you have to take responsibility and do the things that you don't want to do or don't feel like doing. Actions have consequences, and I can't understand that now. Wow, that's really deep, especially for you. Well, now I'm going to leave you with that very grown-up conversation for you to think about, okay, Andy? Okay. It was nice talking to you, funny little fairy chick. It was nice talking to you, funny little Andy. Huh. I sort of like the ring of that. Well, you know, I think I'll go back because it's almost time for my belly rub. Okay, I'm going to let you down now. Good. Bye, Andy. All right. And just like that, poof, I was back in Lily's bed. That fairy sure did give me a lot to think about. Huh. Life was so much easier when all I worried about were crackers and belly rubs. Adulting is hard. Well, good night. Whew. I had the weirdest dream last night. Really, dear? I dreamed that Andy here could talk. <laughs> Morning, Bob. Morning, Andy. It wasn't a dream. Was it? Afraid not, dear. Honey, do we have more potato chips? Kind of early for that before work, isn't it, sweetheart? What's work? Your job. You're a sports agent, remember? Ah, uh, right. You okay, Bob? No. No, Andy, I'm not. Animals can talk in my house. Forget about us. I'm going back to bed. Morning, Mom. Good morning. Hey, someone hit all my potato chips last night. Oh, it was probably your father. He's been on a potato chip binge ever since our pets acquired the power of speech. <gasps> Healthy breakfast, Tina. Nah, I'm fasting, remember? Oh, the potato chip fast. Why the long face, Whiskers? The truck is just right around the corner for all of us. Sooner or later. None of us escape with our skins. What's that about? Whiskers just sad is all. Lily, breakfast, honey. Coming, Mom. Just need to use the bathroom first. Hey, Lily. Fairyland again? What? You don't like it? I do. It's just. Whoa. What? I really need to go to the bathroom. Okay, okay. Did Andy talk to you last night? Yes, and I'm still thinking about it. Okay, great. Now remember, the only way that you can reverse a talking wish is that you have to wish something good for someone else. It's a rule. I gotta think about that one. I don't think you're really good at this. Fair be a fact? Yeah. I really need to go to the bathroom now. Go. <sighs> Good morning, Lily. Morning, Andy. Hi, Mom. Can I take Anne to school with me today? Do you really think your teacher would approve of that, Lily? When she sees that Andy can talk, I'm sure she won't mind. Andy, what do you have to say to that? Well, if it gets me out of the house, then 
Sure, I don't mind a little day trip. Okay, thanks. Lily and I had a long talk that night. I like talking, and I don't want to give it up. But I don't want Lily's fairy BFF to be in trouble either. We're about to see those mean girls again. Remember, kids, it's always best to be nice to them, even if they're not so nice to you. How is Little Miss Talk to herself today? If you mean me, I'm fine, thank you. Who's your little friend? That's my friend Andy. The little crazy girl has a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Why not? He gonna complain. No, it's just that you're not very nice. And only my friends get to tap my head. Did you just talk? I made a declaratory statement of fact, Fat Betsy. You got a problem with that? <laughs> I guess I wasn't very nice. <laughs> I should have tried harder. Glowy, you know you can't bring pets to class. He's not really a pet, Miss Wilkins. No? Well, then what is he? Remember you talked about kindness and friendship the other day? Mm-hmm. That a good friend is someone who listens to you even if you're grumpy? Yes, you remembered. Very good, Lily, but unfortunately you still can't bring pets to class. He's my best friend in the whole world, and I wanted to bring him to class with me today. Well, that's a very lovely thing, Lily, but you still can't have pets in class. Well, excuse me, ma'am, but I really think that I'm more than just a pet. Oh my. What in the world? See, Miss Wilkin? Yes, everyone. I can talk. I know it's weird, but miracles happen every day, right? Yes, they do. I had a pet mouse once, and, well, she talked to me. <laughs> See? Uh, what was your name again? Andy, ma'am. Pleased to meet you, Andy. Uh, class, say hello to Andy. Hi, Andy. Dumb hedgehog. Betsy, now that's not nice. You say you're sorry. Sorry. Betsy, why don't you come over and pet Andy? He loves belly rubs for world peace. You'd, you'd let me pet him? For world peace. reason. Like whiskers? Yep. All right. Hey, you know, you're pretty good at petting me. And this is where Betsy gave me a really good belly rub. She wasn't mean at all. She was actually quite the belly rubber. Oh, world peace, world peace. Lily. Hi, Andy. How was school today? <laughs> it was great, Melly. I mean, really, really great. I got belly rubs from just about everybody. <laughs> Good for you, Andy. I mean, from everybody. <laughs> hey, Melly? Melly? Yes? Yeah. I also got crackers. Lots of crackers. Wow. Hey, speaking of, do you have any crackers? We do. That'd be nice. I'm gonna go upstairs and have a little nap. I think I'll take my crackers upstairs, please. Oh, okay. I'll get them right to you. That sounds good. What are you cooking there? Sushi. No, just send the crackers on up, please. Now you can put a little apple juice in my bowl, too. I'll get right on that. Okay. Today, we met a little rat. Try not to mess it up this time, knucklehead. What makes you think you're so smart? Because I've got some cheerful news. I know the square root of the hypotenuse. Do you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Go get the rat. Let's go. He's still talking. 
Yes, dear. You know, my science show is tomorrow. Oh, that's right. We have to go to that, Bob. I guess you'll just have to take off time from work. That is, if you're going to even go to work. No, I'm never ever going to work ever again. When animals and plants can talk, my interface with the real world officially stops. Do you have any gummy bears? No. No more candy. You might get fat. Aww. It's okay, Daddy. You'll be fine. Yeah, Bob. Things will be back to normal soon. Sure they will, Andy. Of course they will. Can I go back to my room now? Sure, Dad. cartoons again and eating all the potato chips again. Hey guys, it's not funny. My dad's losing his mind. Yeah, he's also Marvel. Your father will be fine, girls. He's just not dealing well with the talking animal dynamic. And us too. Or the talking plant thing. Okay. We've got to think about how we can use Andy for this science project. Just have him talk. No, no, we need something more. Something... Fantagilistic. Tricks. No funky words. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Little dummies, right, though? And now, another round of applause for Kelly and her volcano. <laughs> Those two are in love. They are? Yeah, they're too scared to tell each other. It's so sad, Alicious. Okay, I take it back, I take it back. I love you, Andy. I love you too, Lily. And I know what you have to do. I wish. Friends and family. It is with great pride that I now move on to the high school section of our science show. First up, we have our very own head cheerleader and homecoming queen, Tori Baxter and her team. Our science project is Andy. No, no, he's not just a hedgehog. He can actually talk. Uh, come on, Andy. Talk. Uh, no, no. Andy, talk. Lily, what happened? What did you wish for? I decided to help out a little problem they were having. That's very kind. Both of you. You saved me from being toted. Thank you. What are friends for, right? <laughs> Come on, you stupid hedgehog. Talk! <laughs> and from that point forward, humans could no longer understand me. Of course, I could still talk to Whiskers. Ugh. Why aren't you talking anymore, Andy? That was so embarrassing. Ah! Sorry, girls. Another termite attack. I need you all to leave, please. Oh. Mom! Come on, girls. I'm oh, afraid of termites. But I don't want to Oh, that's okay, sweetie. I'll take him down the stairs for you. Thank you, Mr. Roller. You're welcome. You harsh. We need you, you little rat. And you are gonna help us. Booba, check to see that the coast is clear downstairs. Gee, Roller, maybe this ain't such a good idea. That little girl loves that little fella. No, Booba. And don't you try anything this time. I'm a five-inch hedgehog. What did he think I was going to try? 
Of course, he couldn't understand me. Mom, there are bugs crawling everywhere. Tina, Mr. Roller is taking care of the termite situation. Mrs. Mason, if you can't get your house under control, I can't live here half the time. <laughs> I'm going to my crocodile. That's what friends do. Right, Whiskers? Yeah. yeah. it is. Get back here, you little rat. Hey, let my friend go. Chief Roller, I think we ought to get a girl back to Hedgehog. She might miss him. Nah, no way. Let's go. You're my winning lotto ticket, you little rat. Old little girl. It's gonna keep me from my millions. And here we are, right back at the very beginning of the story. Remember? I told you that we get here. a super dad to come rescue me. Got it, number seven. I guess I do. <laughs> Have I always been wearing a cheerleading outfit? You haven't, I know. And this is all just a figment of my imagination. Well, that's it. That's the end of the story. Bob got his confidence back. The cheerleaders figured they'd made the entire thing up. I became friends with Whiskers. And even though Lily can't hear me anymore, we're still happy together. She still gives me crackers and belly rubs, and that's what really matters. Hey, hey, wait, you're fading to black too quick. Oh, wait, but I got more to say. Oh, fine. I'm Andy the Talking Hedgehog, saying goodbye. Whiskers, is it okay if I talk over the credits? Hey, you talked over the whole darn movie! What do I care about some credits? Okay, thanks. Whoa, 
Is this one of those Joel Paul Isaac movies? He's like a really big time director. Big time? Huh? These small potatoes, kid! Hey, Whiskers, who are these guys? I don't remember either one of these bozos! Well, let's see some actors! That's me. He played Superman on TV a long time ago. He's 50 now, but look at that hairline. I mean, the guy's still got it. Dean who? Eh, who cares? Show me Tara Reid. She's great. She's in all those shark movies that I like. They're so funny. I liked her in American Pie. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, This was Karina's first movie. Really good. Not bad, kid. Not bad. The Colleen was good, too. And where's that cheerleader outfit? Whisker, stop. Look, here's our two bad guys. That's Mike and Ernie. They're actually really nice and really good belly rubbers. Funny guys. Funny guys. That's Maven. She's nice, but not such a great driver. Did she really hit Colleen's car? Big time. She crashed right into it. I mean, it was parked and everything, but kaboom, right into it. Oh, I like Kila. She says praise Jesus a lot. I mean, like, a lot. Eh, I prefer Allie. She doesn't take any nonsense. Hey, look, Whiskers, it's me. It says that my voice was done by that producer guy, Joel Paul Rice. How exciting. Well, that explains why you sound like such a whiny little pain in the... Look, Whiskers, he played you, too. Hey, what in the world? Are you telling me that I've just been arguing with myself all these years? <laughs> like some kind of... some kind of mental patient. I guess that explains why we're best friends, Whiskers. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I knew we were best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I still think the movie should have been called Whiskers the Talking Cat. I'm cuter. I've been in the business longer. <laughs> Whiskers, you're funny. Well, thanks everyone for watching Andy the Talking Hedgehog.